Alright guys, welcome to the video today, and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about keeping the boots on the ground, keeping your feet on the ground when you're playing. Um, obviously, physically, your, your actual feet are going to be on the ground. I'm talking about in-game, making sure that you're not flying all over the place. You know, as you're seeing on screen right here, maybe off a of spawn you want to just put your boots and just bury them five foot deep in the ground. And what I do on Cauldron and on Firebase is there's two hot spots where people like to float up and jump up to challenge. On Firebase, it's top T, and you'd normally think, right, um, that if I spawn dome on firebase, I would run up to dome and try to snipe that generally if you're spawning dome You want to run towards bottom triple. Um, that's basically where the th where the two um, Bottom level doors intersect. I'll probably show a screenshot if I can find one um, But when I'm spawning on the opposite side of dome on a firebase What I do is I run all the way to the right. I'll try to put a video clip on here if I can find one um, Obviously private matches this would be a lot easier to do um, but I, I just run all the way to the right and if you crouch there and you get a hard scope on top T or in this instance in either one of the spawns It doesn't matter what side you're on if you can get a you know a crouch going in the back of the map And you feel confident enough to the point where you're not gonna miss your first sniper shot If you can get that first pick on that first bullet You can either lead to the three piece like you saw in the beginning or just having one kill is very very huge um, it goes further than just having one person down and being able to collapse on the other two people um, in, the, in the sense that like when you get spawn sniped by someone crouching in their spawn off in Africa while you're trying to float and get aggressive, then you're going to start complaining. You're like, whoa, this guy's all the way in the back. What is he doing? That distracts your teammates. They're kind of flustered. They're like, what? they're wondering what's going on. They're kind of asked questions about where you're. Uh, where you, you know where you got sniped from or whatever it kind of sends the whole team into chaos So I wouldn't really recommend doing it on many other maps But at least for maps like cauldron and firebase where the spawns are relatively close And there's one spot where people generally are always gonna float up to you may want to just dig your boots in the ground to find a little spot to put the enemy on tilt um, But with that being said, let's get on with the rest of the video moving on with the rest of the video I found that like when I'm running around on a warlock It's a little bit different when I'm on a hunter because when, when you're on a hunter you have a really nice uh, movement ability, but instead of it being uh, horizontal, it's more vertical, if that makes any sense. When you're on something like a Titan or a Warlock, when you're using your movement ability, you're using it to push you forward on the map. And when I play on a Hunter, uh, whether it be Gunslinger, Blade, or whatever, I use the same movement ability on all of them. It's double jump with increased control. You're moving straight up. So if someone comes around a doorway, you can just jump straight up. Generally, the accuracy is really, really good, um, especially with Last Word when you're close range and up in the air with Hunter. But with Warlock, I found that off spawn, I'm always trying to float towards my teammates and when I get going really fast I'll suddenly be surprised by someone around the corner and I'll try to get like two last word shots off on them and I'll or maybe I'll get like four shots off and the shots will be really wiggly and stuff and I'll miss like five of them yeah yeah that doesn't really make any sense five out of four shots um, but I'll miss the majority of my shots and I'll get like a desperate little melee at the end that's like the most common situation I can really think of is where I float at someone who is a shotgunner and I miss like four last word shots in a row and then I get like one desperate melee off at the end but it doesn't matter because they're full health and I can't kill with one melee and that cycle goes on and on and on and on and when you're constantly in midair and you constantly have a nerf to your accuracy obviously you don't have 100% accuracy in midair um, especially with something like last word you're gonna notice that your shot becomes really really wiggly and unstable last word is a weapon where if, especially if you're, on your, or if you're on the ground, it's really easy to manage, um, but you don't really want to sway side to side. The recoil is pretty much straight up, and what I found myself doing is, before I used to switch between shotgunning and sniping like a lot when it came to competitive games, and I would have to rotate my sensitivity between 3, 4, 5, 6, and all that, and I felt really awkward when I was using Last Word, because when I would use Thorn, and pretty much any other archetype of hand cannon the recoil kind of goes to the side a little bit so i developed this kind of twitchy little shot where every single time i would shoot i would twitch my uh, my thumbstick to the left or to the right and when i switched to last word i found that my shot was absolutely horrible with it because the bullets um, when you're trying to manage it you just want to have kind of a slight tilt on your joystick instead of it waving side to side and additionally from like switching between sensitivities and all that when you're flying up in the air all the time and it's always frantic because when you're in when you're in midair you don't really have as much confidence as you would be uh, when you're on the ground so if you get surprised by someone your shots are mostly most likely not going to hit them it just it's a really awkward situation to be in and if you're if you kind of get in the habit of always being in midair and always having to spam shots from a position where you're not really comfortable with most likely you're going to panic and even when you're on the ground like obviously if you're being double teamed and in a competitive match you're going to kind of panic a little bit and your shot's going to be wiggly maybe you can get a trade with one but when you're in midair and there's multiple people on you it just doesn't really happen i don't know that's just kind of my experience 
Um, same thing goes with uh, snipers. Just a quick little side note. Um, you don't really want to hard scope like general little areas. You want to be patrolling or patrolling the map with a last word pretty much the whole game, and you have to check spots that are high traffic areas and that have good sight lines. So my recommend or recommendation on Cauldron would be, if you get you know control of mid map, then you're gonna kind of want to stay in the back towards diving board. You don't really want to uh, peek out from diving board too much because it's really easy to get sniped from gold stairs or from lanterns. But if you can just kind of hover around in mid, not really be out on the diving board, but kind of rotate. Um, between the heart of B, I guess, and, and rotating in and out of diving ward, checking lanes between the bone room, the gold room, uh, checking behind you at gold stairs, moving around. And you, you just you don't want to have your sniper out in all of your situations because you shouldn't really. I, I don't know how to explain it, but snipers are only used for situations where you're trying to you know lane something, maybe see if you can get a pick. But if you see someone on your radar in front of you, don't go for the quick scope. You'll see me do it from time to time, and it's very, very stupid. I've, I've tried to improve that, and I think I've gotten a lot better with it. I, I've noticed that I perform a lot better when I'm not trying to put people in montages the whole game. Um, but being comfortable with where you are, um, making sure your boots are on the ground, making sure you don't go for anything ridiculous. That's kind of the main purpose of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. And uh, by the way, before I leave, there is an MLG event in Columbus, Ohio that I'm going to. It's going to be streamed both on MLG and Twitch. I'll put links to that in the description box down below. It's on the 13th of September. You're not going to want to miss it. I don't know the exact time so far, but if you guys follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated there. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.